And with me in the studio is Professor Hartmut Hermann from the Leibniz Institute for Tropospheric Research. He's an expert on particulate matter in the atmosphere. Thank you so much for joining us. Candles aren't such a problem worldwide, but wood burning stoves are in developing countries. For example, people use wood for fuel and also uh, for cooking. How does wood burning compare with, say, traffic in terms of pollution? In Germany, it produces about the same mass in a year as the whole as, uh, of the traffic, and uh, which is a lot. And uh, worldwide, it constitutes a lot of air pollution, especially in developing countries. And uh, there is, for example, a development of more clean burning stoves uh, to fight this air pollution from wood burning in the developing countries. So it's a big factor. Now, getting back uh, to Europe here for a moment, the EU has instituted legislation limiting the emissions of different kinds of fine particulates. How fine do they have to be to pose a health risk? So the regulation aim at the particles up to a diameter of 10 micrometers, but the smaller particles are probably more risky, especially when they are very small and, constitu and uh, are constituted of organic compounds, such uh, as we find them in uh, the suit, diesel suit. Now, uh, lately, nanoparticles have uh, been all the rage in all kinds of different applications. Do these really, really tiny particles pose an even greater danger? Potentially, yes, if they can be released in the environment. Uh, but the atmosphere is producing very small particles also by itself. And this is uh, an area of intense study. How can we keep these particles out of the air we breathe? Um, we need to go to the sources uh, and do some abatement strategies. Uh, for example, we equip uh, chimneys uh, with filters. And so we have such regula regulation now in Germany, and I think this is a way to, uh, to do it, um, to have some regulation at the sources. How much do particles in the troposphere affect our climate? They do it a lot, either directly by interac interacting with radiation or indirectly by triggering cloud formation. And the clouds also interact with radiation. So they are in uh, uh, essential for the atmospheric system and the climate system. Now, your institute monitors the levels of airborne particles in Germany. Would you say that this kind of air pollution has improved in recent years? Oh, yes. It has much improved, especially since the reunification of Germany and the eastern states. But for all of the Europe, it, it has also improved. And uh, so the air quality is improving continuously. But we have some areas where we need to take care still. Hartmut Hermann, thank you very much for joining us here today.